Hey guys, if you're seeing this video, thank you so much for putting in your details and entering in to the D10 exclusive content emailing list. I have today for you a training schedule or a training plan, can I say, how we put the ball mastery into play, how we can make it work for us, and how we can take it into a game situation. So the first is checking out what today's ball mastery pattern is and learning the skills one by one. Let's go. So to start, we're gonna break the five moves down. So we break the pattern down into single moves and we're gonna practice them. You can use this also as a warm up, but make sure, like I am, you're warmed up well before. Touch your step. Touch your step. Touch your step. Touch your step. You wanna perform each move so that you're comfortable between five and 10 times so that you have the move consistent. Once we've learned the skills one by one, we want to put them all together. You would have heard me saying there, now it's time to put them together. We create the combo and then we'll move on to phase two. So the second phase is putting all of those moves together, even if you have to do it slowly at first. So phase three of this now, we're moving to a two cone drill. And basically I wanna make sure that my hips and my body are always open and facing the two cones. So stop ourselves from turning in or twisting our hips. We wanna always make sure that our body faces our defender and our hips face forward. This way when we're facing our defender, it gives us space, it gives us time on the ball. of his third phase is to once you complete the five move ball martial pattern the last three steps of the last move you want to accelerate past the cones now it's time to put your peripheral vision to work you're going to need three cones i've got a pink a white and a yellow one I'm doing the ball mastery pattern and at the same time, when my training partner lifts the cones, I want to tell them which color they've put up in front. So yellow, white or pink, while still keeping control of the ball. Yellow. White. Guys, that is the end of this training program. The final part is to go and play 1v1, 3v3, 5v5, put those skills into practice. Make sure you stay tuned to this email below, info at d10football.com for more.